Oh, yeah. Hey guys, it's Bunnies, and today we're back with another video, and today I'm actually really, really, really excited for today's video. I think I said today I'm really excited for today's video. Anyways, so today we are trying the Doritos Loaded Cool Ranch. They are new, supposedly. I don't know how new they are, but I've never seen them before. If you guys have been on this channel before and like seen me try the spicy and then those really super cheesy ones, I love them. I was such a big fan. I know everyone in the comments was like, I hate them, they're so gross, but I liked them. And a lot of you guys were telling me in the comments last time that you guys used the microwave to try them, and I used the oven. So today I'm gonna try these and see like how good they are, how good they're not. And I'm gonna try them two separate ways. I'm gonna put one in the microwave and one in the oven and see if <laughs> there's a huge difference. So I hope you guys like today's video. If you guys do, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Let's see if this video can get to, oh my God, how many thumbs up? Can we get this video to like a thousand thumbs up? That would be nuts. Thank you guys so much. I put a dent in my box. So let's get into the video. If you guys have tried these before, comment down below. Let me know what you think of them. Are these ones better than like any other ones that you tried or are they good? Did you not like them? Are they super gross? Oh God, I preheated it on the wrong temperature. <laughs> shoom, 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 shoom. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna open this bad boy. It's like Christmas, kind of, kind of like, but harder to open. <laughs> They look like chicken nuggets, and don't look at my nails, but they look like chicken nuggets, don't they? Or no, not really. Maybe it's just me that thinks of chicken nuggets every time I see anything battered. Ooh, fried zucchini. Is that a chicken nugget? Fried Oreo. Oh my God, a sweet chicken nugget. All right, so I'm gonna put, mm. all right guys, so here's what they look like frozen, which you guys are not gonna obviously be eating them frozen. I'm very tempted to see if you even could eat them frozen. Two, two, put that bad boy in here. And I usually don't let my oven preheat either. I just pop stuff in the oven, so. <laughs> Welcome to cooking with Bunny. All right, so it's, since it's not preheated all the way, I do cook it for like two extra minutes or like an extra minute, depending on how long it's been preheating. And uh, yeah, I'm cooking it for like two extra minutes. So we're gonna pop these bad boys in the microwave and see how they are. There's no microwave instructions on the box, so I know it's not supposed to be microwave, so I'm just gonna microwave for two minutes and hope for the best. Something popped, and I'm really scared. I don't know what popped, but I'm so scared. It was not a good kind of pop. why there's no microwavable instructions on the Doritos. Because when you microwave them for two minutes, they get stuck and they won't come off the plate. It broke the plate. Like how, two minutes in the microwave, how does it break a freaking plate? It won't even come off of the, I can't take it off the plate. Only I would get something stuck to a plate. Ah, what not to do. Don't microwave for two minutes. Take two. Aw. It's stuck again. Ugh. Guys, you know how you're telling me that like it was really gross when you put it in the microwave? I don't even know how you guys did it because there's nothing, there's no longer anything inside of this. Like look inside of this, there's nothing. No cheese, it's just straight up breading. Take three. <laughs> Same thing, only different. These are, I think, done. Oh my God, they are so done. Oh my days. Oh man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just eat it frozen. How good is it? Oh yeah? Here are the ones that I put in the oven that definitely leaked out, obviously. I put them in for like nine minutes, which is what it said, and it wasn't even thawed out. So I wouldn't bake it as long for nine minutes. I'd maybe bake it for like seven minutes, especially if you let your oven preheat. So we are gonna try, oh, this one lasted a little bit better. So we are gonna try Oven versus a microwave. Now you can see the difference in like the crispiness and like this one looks all limp, like a limp biscuit, and this one looks all like a not limp biscuit. So I'll try the microwave first. Ah. 
I don't like it, guys. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It tastes like it tastes like a really soggy Cool Ranch Dorito. Like imagine a Cool Ranch Dorito that's super soggy <laughs> that's been like sitting there. Let's try the other one. Maybe it's better. Ah! A million times better. Okay, so I took a bite and my camera cut off, but I'm gonna take another bite. Mmm. 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 See that inside? Mmm. 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 Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it definitely, like, it's good when you bake it, obviously, like a million times better when you bake it. But it's almost like there's nothing even inside of it. I wouldn't recommend these ones. Um, they're not that good to be honest. They're really kind of like gross. I definitely don't like them. <laughs> but if you're like a Cool Ranch fan, then you will probably definitely be like disappointed in it. And I was super disappointed in it. I don't love them. I don't rate them like a 10 out of 10. I would maybe rate them like a 3 out of 10. Like, they're not that great. Not the best party food probably either. I think when they get gro they get old, they'll be really, really gross. I would definitely say the spicy or the regular nacho are like a million times better. But I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you know, hit that sub button with your buddy ball. It's the big red button that says subscribe on it.